change your mind constantly on, on the plan and the purposes of God? You're trying to look how you can fulfill God's best for you? Are you looking the way you can be able to walk out God's plan concerning you? Or is your mind constantly absorbed on obtaining a thing or grabbing a thing or getting to a particular status? Can I tell you that, my friend, you may have slipped into idolatry? And can I tell you, maybe this is the problem with this New Testament church. Just maybe this is a problem that because we're thinking we, 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 we're entrepreneurs and, and we're doing our thing and we, we want to we want to be social we want we want to be relevant we want to be all these things but we don't want to be obedient we want to be all these things and do all these things and accomplish all these things and here whenever it is that something absorbs my heart and absorbs my imagination more than God or whenever I'm seeking fulfillment from something or someone oh boy we, we slipped into we slipped into idolatry. Let me, let me break it down another further because our pursuit even of our ideal identity can be uh, idolatry. We, 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 associate it, we associate who we are based off how people see us. We're trying to get to a particular status. We want people to, to affirm us or we want, want people to, 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 to really appreciate the way we look and appreciate what we have and, and appreciate where we live. and, and appre- we, our identity, we have our identity is wrapped up in that. There's such people that are so wrapped up in obtaining an identity. They're so wrapped up in obtaining a status. They're so wrapped up in the web. They're trying to get affirmation from people. And that, that our pursuit of, 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 of identity could be idolatry. Our pursuit of money can be idolatry. Because here, here we get we live in this consumer, this consumer generation, and we just try to get, get, give. Now here I hear you saying I gotta take care of my family. Oh, but every now and then, come on, we slip into greediness every now and then. We sleep in the convetiousness every now and then. Well, we got to work all night long and work all of the hours of overtime and work and try to and just be trying to sign up for this and, and sign up for that. We want we want more and we want more and we want more. I, I'll never tell you to be complacent but I tell you, you need to practice content, contentment come on we ought to be content with where we are we ought to be content with what God has you always should strive to be able to embed your situation but all I do is pursue money hey, when, when we when we pursue only to consume we just want to consume how much is enough that's what I need to ask you how much is enough how big does the house got to be you pray the last two houses. If, 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 if God, you, if you let me get this one, I'll be satisfied. You get there for three months, and now all of a sudden, it's, it's just not enough room. I, just, I should have I should did this. I how, how nice does the car need to be? We just, how many clothes do you need? Come on, help me here. How, how much is enough? And there's nothing wrong with nice things. I like nice things. We, we ought to make sure that we, we do what we need to do. We're in the kingdom of God. We're king's kids. We ought to do this. But how much is enough? If we're not careful, we'll be, we'll, our, our consuming will, will become our God. I believe this is, this, is so, this is so key. Our pursuit of entertainment. We get to the place where we, we don't even look to be embedded. We want to be entertained. We don't look for opportunities to learn. We want to, we want leisure. We don't, we, want, we don't want to learn. We don't want times to where God can embed us and download some of my spirit or read a book or try to, try to embed, work, work on a craft. But we just want to be entertained. And if I'm not being entertained, then I, I'm going to the next thing. That's why people get so bored with this and bored with that and this and that. Because we're looking for entertainment. And it slipped right into the church. Because pastor hadn't said, I heard he ain't preached today. Okay, y'all, y'all didn't like that one. I know y'all not going to like this one. Our pursuit, our pursuit of sexual fulfillment. We have this, this drive. We have this push that we just got to be fulfilled. And we just got to have somebody. And we just got to do this. And here, if you don't tame that, you, you, it'll, it'll, never, it'll be, never be enough. Our, our, our constant pursuit of comfort. Our, our constant pursuit of, of, of dependability on our devices. I'm trying to get the whole foot. Trying to get the whole foot, though. I'm trying to get the whole foot. She said, I stepped on some toes. I'm trying to get the whole foot, sisters. I'm trying to get the whole foot. Because we're slaves to our devices. You can't even listen to an hour-long message from God, from your man of God, without sliding through somebody's DM. Something wrong. Something wrong. If I, if I can't sit through a me- one hour, me- one hour, when you got, I mean, how many hours in a week? I- 168. You can't give him one. Our pursuit, our pursuit of, 
of the perfect family. You'll be, you'll be surprised how many people worship their spouses. When, when, whenever, it is, whenever it is, your spouse stops you from fulfilling God's plan or for doing what it is that God desires for you to do. That, that person has too much control on your life. Well, you'd be surprised how many people worship their children. Their, their children can do no wrong. They can't correct their children. They can't, they can't even put them in time out. We're not even talking about a spanking. Can they get a little, a little, we ain't talking about a little tap. They won't put them in time out. And, they, and they'll take their children around the world to this and go to that and go to this. But then when it comes to the things of God, you don't have time and you're tired. Oh, there's something wrong with that, my friend. I'm not talking about engaging in activities. My baby's in activities. Oh, but those activities don't trump the work of God. Those activities don't, don't trump what it is that I do for the Lord, but we'll put our family and we'll put activities and we'll put things over the things of God. It's On behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry, we ought to clothe the naked, and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity. And there are three easy, safe, and secure ways that you can do just that. You can text the word T-I-L Jax, one word, T-I-L Jax to the number 77977. You can go to our website, www.truthandlove.tv, or you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, search for Truth and Love Jax, download our app, and you can give that way. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your generosity, and we love you, and we'll see you next time. Here comes the church. God bless you.